Join me as I read Chapter 3, From Picking Up the Pieces to 100 Broken Promises by Yushima Cherry Burks. The title of this chapter is Experience, Forgiveness, and Growth. You guys, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. The section that I'm reading today from Chapter 3 is Part 2, Mighty Misha. In my early 20s, I ran into Misha, a childhood friend. Our parents knew each other before we were born. We were neighbors at one point and we played together every day while our parents hung out. Her mother made the best peach cobbler ever and it was always fun at her house. Except that time her father got drunk and picked me up by my ponytails. My father was not happy to hear about that and they did not. Oh, and they did have a talk about it. Yeah, I remember that. Having Misha around was refreshing. I loved the time we spent reminiscing and I could be myself around her. We talked about everything from our parents to what we wanted to do with our lives. We laughed out loud and really enjoyed each other's company. She did not have kids, but she didn't mind mentoring a family friend that was staying with me. Isabel moved in with me as a teenager. She wasn't getting along with her parents and I tried to mend that broken relationship but it was not working out. Mish and Isabel spent a lot of time together. They became close as sisters. It was great having them there together. I worked full time, so during summer hours, they stayed at my house since Isabel did not have school. One night, Mish and Isabel wanted to borrow my car, and I told them no. I did not feel comfortable with that since I was responsible for Isabel. It was already 9 o'clock and I was tired. I was asleep by 9.15 at the latest. Well, I received a call at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mish and Isabel had been in an accident and they hit a light pole. My car was totaled. They were both fine and they didn't suffer any lasting injuries, but my car was not fine. Misha <laughs> didn't have a license and the city wanted to charge me for the damage she made to the light pole. I had full coverage insurance, but it did not cover the damage in this accident. Sometimes life was like that. We can think that we have full coverage and something happens that catches us completely off guard. I found out in this case, or in cases like this, I can always count on God to pick up the pieces all around me. I know Misha could not have known that this would happen. Sometimes we do things without considering the consequences. Looking back, I don't know what I was thinking. I had AJ, and I also took on a full teenager while in my early 20s. I don't regret it, but I could have done some things differently. Although it was something that irked me because the car was a total loss, I'm so happy that Misha and Isabel were okay after that accident. Isabel and I talk almost daily via social media. I haven't brought this up to her, but I wonder if she remembers. I haven't heard from Misha, and I have looked for her to no avail. I asked her mother about her, but she hadn't heard from her either. I've never stolen a car, but I did lose one of my mother's really nice rings when I was a teenager. I told her about it a few years ago, and I asked her if there was any way I could replace it. Surprisingly, she didn't appear angry, and she forgave me. We all have something that we need to be forgiven for. I wish Misha the best. His promise, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's from Jeremiah 17, 10. My promise to myself is I promise to continue to show up for loved ones that need me, even if there is a chance that my car may be stolen. Look at how she did it. But she did my, I remember her doing my hair or whatever. And then I remember you being asleep. And it was around about nine o'clock. We're well, like, yeah, about nine, eight, nine o'clock. And I went to be early, early. early. Mm hmm Right. You did. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and she came in, you mumbled like, um, when I first heard you say no, you mumbled something like, No, you can't use my car, or something, something, something. But you were like still like sleep. And also check out chapters where we discuss chapter three, hear the lady's point of view 
about when Misha and Isabel stole my car. 